Hi, I'm Dr. Trent. I'm the Director of Medicine and Conservation here at the Lincoln Children's Zoo, and I'm really excited today because I get the chance to show you the Animal Care Center, where we take care of all the animals at the zoo and do lots of other things too. So, we'll start with a short tour. This room that you're in right now is our clinic. So this is the area where we take care of all the animals, do our physicals, uh, so every animal gets a, gets a physical exam every single year. We have Maxine with us today, and so later you'll have the chance to get to see Maxine have her physical exam done. The other things that we do here in the clinic, you can see in the corner over here, we have machines that let us do blood work. So we have a blood analyzer that lets us look at the, how the kidneys are doing, how liver health is doing. We have a microscope and I can take some of the covers off so you can see some of these things when they're not all covered up. So we have a microscope to be able to do look at uh, for parasites or look at blood. It also gives us the ability to do a white blood cell count, which is something that you want to do if an animal is sick to check and make sure that their body is responding correctly. So you can look at all of their body trying to fight off that infection. Then we have other ways to look at um, all different samples that we get from animals. So sometimes samples that are kind of gross, like urine and poop, can be really important to us in being able to tell if an animal is healthy or not. And so we have the ability to look at all of those uh, items here. We have a couple areas to hospitalize animals on this side. So these are incubators. We have one for babies over here that just stays warm and doesn't do a whole lot else. We have another one that's very uh, advanced, and so that one is able to provide oxygen, so it's a high oxygen environment for an animal if it had a lung infection or anything like that. It also gives us the ability to offer food or water in special ways um, and to minimize handling in case it was something like a, an infection that a person could get. So that gives us a place to put uh, uh, an animal where we can safely hold them. We also have a locked closet over there that has some, we have to use some special drugs sometimes that make animals fall asleep and stay asleep while we're doing procedures on them. And so we have a special place to store those. And then we have a table here that's a wet table. So we do procedures that are called dentals um, and where you clean the teeth and all of that. Uh, this gives us the ability to do that in a clean way where the water doesn't run all over the table and get the animal all wet. You can see our dental machine that's down here and stored uh, away nicely. You've got the ability to give IV fluids, um, and then we have just some other equipment all on the shelves and everywhere else uh, that are used for, for exams and, and for being able to do surgery and all sorts of things. So if you see anything on any of the shelves that you have questions about, I'm sure that Sarah would be happy to answer your questions or relay them to me after you have a chance to watch the video. Um, one of the we have our very exciting new exam table here this exam table is nice because it's heated so lots of the animals that you see at the zoo are very very little and when you're little you lose heat quickly when you are getting an exam so by having a nice warm table that's at 85 degrees it keeps the animal warm so that they don't get cold during their checkups we have um let's see an anesthesia machine here so this is how we keep the animals asleep while we're doing their exams the animals here at the zoo are wild animals. So even though they work really well with the keepers and they do all sorts of fun things, they, the, it's important for us that they stay asleep because if they get stressed, they still are a wild animal and they could hurt themselves or hurt us. And so that's one of the things that we use this for. We have an ECG and pulse oximeter. Those are big words that mean that we can monitor an animal while they're under anesthesia and make sure that they stay safe and healthy. And then we also have an area for hospitalizing animals. So you can see that this room here, and I'm leaving the door shut because we have a patient in there, but this room has a uh, long-eared owl in it, and that owl is gonna have surgery done later today. This room has our offices, and this is where uh, Carolyn, who is our veterinary scientific technician, she helps take care of all the animals and she also does our registrar work, which is really important and manages uh, animals coming into the zoo and going out of the zoo. And we can walk past her office and then you can see where we keep animals that are new to the zoo. So when we have an animal come to the zoo that's new and has never been here before, they have to ha have a place to stay. So we have two rooms that are set aside. One of them has some tree kangaroos in it right now, and the other one doesn't have anything right now. 
but those are areas where we would have an animal stay when they're first new to the zoo so that they don't come in contact with the other ones until we know they're healthy and well and able to uh, go out and be on display so that everybody that comes to visit the, zoo, visit the zoo can see them. And that's the most of the care center. We have a few things like some laundry machines and uh, we have a nice big mop sink and then some storage for towels and blankets and all sorts of things in here, uh, but nothing too exciting to see. So. If you have any questions, we'd love to answer them in the comments, and it was really nice to have the chance to talk to you all today. Thank you.